Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today we are getting into a sample set of Roja Parfums. This is a nice little sample box set here. These are all the feminine fragrances and I'm very excited to try these out with you today. These are the Essence Stay Parfums. Seven two milliliter perfumes in here. I have Scandal, Reckless, Creation R, 51, Creation E and Danger and Elixir. So lots to try with you today. I'm going to give you my first impressions. I have smelled these a couple times, but we're going to go over each one. I'm very excited. Okay, so the reason I picked up this sample set from Lucky Scent um, is because a lot of these are like sold out. It's a little bit harder to get. Um, so I ended up getting this set because I've really want, been wanting to try Roja. I have heard so many good things about it all over YouTube. A lot of women like these fragrances, so I just finally wanted to try out the whole thing. And, you know, I was mostly curious about a couple in here, not all of them, but I'm glad I actually got to try all of these because I think some of these surprised me. So let's get in and start with Reckless. Smells very light and powdery to me. A little bit of a sweetness, almost like an oranginess. Kind of familiar scent to me. This top notes are aldehydes, bergamot, citruses, tarragon. I'm getting this from Fragrantica. Middle notes are jasmine, ylang ylang, peach, rose, violet, geranium, amaryllis. Base notes are oak moss, musk, tonka bean, leather, sandalwood, vetiver, orris, castorium, cinnamon, and clove. A lot of notes. I'm getting a lot of powder. Powder isn't like my favorite kind of fragrance, but it's still really nice. I mean, I can't complain too much. The next one is Creation R. This is a little bit more deep, sexy. I'm smelling like an oud vibe. I have Creation R and I was getting confused looking this up because it's also called Risqué Pour Femme. So that's cool. I've heard that they call these fragrances different names, so that's always fun. <laughs> this one, as I said, a little bit deeper and sexier. Top notes are bergamot, middle notes are chamomile, hyacinth, peach, may rose, jasmine, ylang ylang. Base notes are patchouli, oak moss, vetiver, cedar, laudanum. Oh, still a little, little powdery in here. Very floral. I don't know. Not my favorite either. Hmm. Okay, let's get into Scandal. It's definitely a different type of floral we're getting into. And a little bit citrus. Definitely more of a white floral. So we're getting more into my ter territory. It's definitely a powerful fragrance. The top notes are bergamot, gardenia, jasmine, freesia, tuberose, orange blossom, lily of the valley, may rose. So like all the white florals. Base notes are orris, sandalwood, and musk. Yeah, I mean, if you like a white floral, this is definitely like a quintessential white floral scent. It's really beautiful. Grabbing my attention, let's get into Elixir. And this one's really pretty. A little bit more fruity. Very feminine. That's really pretty though, Elixir. Top notes again, bergamot. I'm, I'm sensing a theme here. Middle notes are rose, raspberry, peach, violet, heliotrope, ylang ylang, geranium, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley. Base notes are musk, cashmere wood, vanilla, orris, violet leaf, amberette, musk mallow, sandalwood, cedar, cinnamon. Here we are, the very famous 51. So 51 was one of the ones that I really wanted to try because I've heard super good things about it. I'm kind of underwhelmed by, to be honest. It smells really nice, but it's not what I expected it to be. It's really like airy and light and kind of sweet and fruity and just a super gentle young woman fragrance. Like I could see someone in their 20s rocking this. I mean, I get that this could be timeless, but I'm just kind of surprised that so many people like this. It's got a good mixture of things going on. So it has bergamot, of course, as a top note. Middle notes are raspberry, gardenia, ylang ylang, orange blossom, tuberose, jasmine, lily, lily of the valley, may rose. Uh, base notes are vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood, cashmere, orris, violet, anise, patchouli, cinnamon, clove. A lot of white florals in here, which I love. 
It's just a lot sweeter than I expected it to be, I think. All right, two more. I have Creation E next. So Creation E is another one that has a different name. This is also called Enigma, but this was the Poor Femme version. This is one that definitely surprised me. I really enjoy this one, probably more than 51, at least at this point in my life. It smells so good to me. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit more sophisticated. I don't know if I'm getting old, but I really enjoy this one. This one has a little more of citrus to it. It's not as sweet, and so I think I like that. More of a, a natural, chill scent. Um, so the top notes again are bergamot. We have middle notes of peach, may rose, geranium, neroli, ylang ylang, heliotrope, and jasmine. Base notes are musk vanilla, patchouli, ambergris, sandalwood, porous. I'm sensing a lot of the same notes in all of these fragrances, but the mixture of this one, I think is more of a floral, citrus, not as like the sweet vibe. So I, I enjoy this one a lot, Creation E or Enigma. Top contender there. All right, last one we have is Danger. Kind of a airy, powdery, fruit-forward fragrance. Not sure I get the whole name, Danger, for this one. Uh, the top notes are a little different. Grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, mandarin, orange. Middle notes are violet, may rose, gardenia, jasmine, ylang ylang, peach. I am getting a lot of violet and like something else. Musk, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka bean, orris, clove, patchouli for the base notes. Interesting. So that rounds out my samples. What are my favorites? I think I like Elixir and Creation E the most, which I did not expect. <laughs> Reckless isn't bad. Scandal is really good too. It's very white floral though. 51. I mean, I would buy 51. It, it's definitely um, not like my top pick, which I'm surprised by because everyone loves it. I think I like Creation E the most. Very good. Let me know what are your thoughts out of all of these Essence de Perfume, de Parfums from Roja, which one do you guys like the best? And if there are any other perfumes from Roja that I should try that aren't in this collection, please comment below. Let me know what you guys are liking. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. Subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.